Alrighty old folks, what we have here is a can of nuts. I don't know how well you can see it. Let me put it down in the sun. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. They are black walnut hulls and some hickory hulls. I'm going to add some water to those. Let them soak for a few minutes and I'm fixing to make me some dye for a piece of canvas that I have. So, I'm going to get some water in there and let them soak and we will dig them on the fire. See you shortly. Welcome back to the nut job. I've had these soaking for a couple days just because we wanted to get the most out of them. And as you can see on the stick, it's not too bad. I'm worried I may have put, sorry, too much water in there, but I'm going to get it on the fire to render it down and uh, make it a little uh, richer. But so far, so good. So let's get that fire burned down a little bit and uh, we'll get her cooking. Bring you back. Okay, so we have our black walnut hulls and our hickory hulls on the fire. I will let that uh, steep, simmer and stew for about eh, 20 to 30 minutes. Then I'll take it off and let it cool down and then I want to strain it and get the, the actual hickory hulls out of there. and. Then we'll see what we have. Um, 
this experiment because I've never done it before is to dye a uh, eight ounce a canvas drop cloth I got at Lowe's. Lowe's. I think it's uh, either a five by eight or a six by nine. I haven't done anything with it. Um, haven't hemmed it. Haven't done tie outs. I'm just gonna stain it and then when the stain is dry we're going to waterproof it. So stay with me and I'm uh, gonna let this uh, cook a little bit longer and I'll uh, bring you back when it's cool. Welcome back. I just took this off the fire. I'm gonna let it cool. As I see the fire is burned down and it got a really good simmer on so let's get my stick here. I was going to face plant you on the cement, didn't you? Oh, yeah. It's even thickened up a little bit. Oh, yep. That's going to be pretty. And in the meantime, while that was rendering down, I set up a little bushcraft clothesline. Got some jute twine up on there to just hang the tarp over. I don't know if you can even see it. It's green. So once that's cool, get it strained into the bucket. Let me back up a little bit for you. Get a bigger picture of that. I don't know, but the, the clothesline, the jute twine runs from there to there. It's green. It's thin, so you probably can't see it. But just a couple tripods. Lashed up and Throw that tarp over there because it's going to be drippy. You want a place for it to drip so it can dry. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, I'll get that uh, dyed up tonight and hung up. And so tomorrow, if it's dry, or the next day, we'll uh, do the oil cloth treatment on it. Okay. So when that's cool, we'll come back and we'll dye. See you later. Welcome back. It is time to strain. It's pretty cool. All right, let's hope I don't splash this all over the place. Ooh. We got some dye. I am gonna keep these hulls. I'm gonna put them back in the can. I'm gonna add some fresh hulls. Probably hickory hulls because the uh, black walnut ones are pretty well gone. All right, I'm gonna get these back in the can and now we're gonna dye our canvas. Be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the drop cloth before I put it in there. Just a regular canvas painter's drop cloth. And I think it's probably five by six or something. I'm not quite sure, but just a plain drop cloth. No hems, no nothing. So we're going to get that in there. Let me adjust the camera and bring you down. Okay. And yes, this is probably going to stain my hands, but that's part of the price you have to pay. Uh, you want to make sure, oh, that's dark. You cover every piece of the fabric. Obviously, I mean, duh. I'm hoping I have some left to uh, tie dye a t-shirt. Oh, see how dark that is? Wee! I don't think I'm going to. I might have a little bit left. So I guess I'm glad I did use all that water. Otherwise, I don't know. It might be a little blotchy. I soaked up all the the dye. It's still going to be pretty cool.
stuff is off. Blotchy. Not terribly bad. not going to be allowed in the house after this. Oh well. All right, we're going to get her hung up. And we're going to let her dry. And then I think we'll do the oil cloth part on part two. My hands aren't too bad. My hands didn't get too badly stained. All right, I'm gonna hang this up and then I'll show you it hanging up. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Okay, so two lessons learned here today. Take your tripods taller and don't use Dollar Tree twine because didn't like my uh, tarp. But I just got it draped over that tripod right now. So, we're going to let it dry. I think once it stops dripping, it's not really dripping, but once it uh, is a little bit uh, less wet, I'll uh, bring it in and uh, hang it in an inconspicuous spot. All right, so this is it for part one, the dyeing process. Stay tuned for part two when we'll... Uh, turn it into an oil cloth. All right, thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two.